Hi. Today we are going to see Oracle interview question and answers. We are going to see around three question and answers only. And these are all the questions asked in various interviews by some companies. Okay. First question we are going to see is how to find the last day of previous month. If somebody asks you what is the last day of current month, you can easily tell that is the straightforward question. But if somebody asks you how to find the last day of previous month, then it will be somewhat confusing. It is not difficult, but suddenly you will, you will, you will start to think. So I'm going to explain how to find the last day of the previous month. First, we will see what is the use of this last day. The last day returns the date of the last day of the month that contains the date. Return type is always date regardless of the data type of the date. Okay. First, I will show you how to find the last day of the current month. Then you can easily understand. It is very simple by just typing the last day of the sixth date from the Google, you can get the last day of this August month. It shows 31st August year 2021. So if it is for previous month, how can we do that? We have to use the function called add months along with sixth date comma minus one. Add months means we are going to add one month to this current month. But if we give minus one, it will go to the previous month. Instead of one, we are going to give minus one. Now I am going to execute this query. See, it shows the 31st July 21. That means the last month is July. The last date is 31st. Okay. I have to use this query. Okay. Even even if you ask any, if you have been asked any questions like that, uh, how many days uh, left? You can use the same the last date, this is date, then minus this date. Okay. Then how many day, how many days left in the month? You can easily tell. The second question is to find the list of employees who joined in the year 2021 okay whatever be the things the list of employees who joined in the particular year it might be 2021 or it might be 80 to 85 or 90 to 95 like whatever be the year but we have to use the how to how to find out the this uh, employees joined in the year uh, any any year okay you can see we are going to use the between between condition it is easy only, I will show you now. And particularly for the persons who are uh, working in the banking domain, it is a real time scenario also. Sometimes you will be asked to generate the report for all the customers joined in between the June to September. You are working in banking domain then you have to generate the report the customers joined in the months between june to september means we can use this query by using this between okay it will be very useful and it is very often we come across this type of uh, reports in our uh, that day-to-day uh, -day support activities 
so that we can easily generate the report uh, the customers uh, joined in that particular uh, particular branch of the bank and uh, you have to query the tables like customer master like that here we are using the table employee only so i am going to query the table employee and i am going to check the employee who are all joined i am going to take the list who are all joined in between september 81 to december 83 okay might be old employees okay those who are joined in between 81 to 83 because i am having that data only here so i am using that between september 81 to december 83 and you have to you have to make sure yourself about the the date format here the date format is year month and date here the date format is date month and year so you have to know the format and you have to check the table initially and then you have to uh, give the exact dates okay it is very easy only just i am going to delete it it shows the list of the employees who joined in between the year 81 and 83 but here i have given the order by hire date okay and then it, it it has got sorted already otherwise it will show the dates in shuffled manner that means date three will come in between 81 and 82 like that so it will be somewhat confusing in order to avoid that i am giving i have given that order by hire date so that it will show in the chronological order that ascending order okay this is the way how to use the between between condition allows you to easily test if an expression is within the range of values that means in between the uh, that the july month and uh, september means the dates uh, coming in between july and september we can easily uh, find out okay it can be used along with the select insert update or delete statement and suppose you are getting one uh, the, the query to delete the uh, the list of the retired employees those who have already retired from the database in for these months then you can use this delete and the between okay you can use the between along with the delete so that you can delete the employees those who have got already retired from the company the old employees similarly you can use the Uh, delete uh, the the between along with the update so here we have used uh, the between along with the select statement now one more question is how to display the hire date of the employee in dd mm and yyy that means normally the data for uh, the dates it is stored in the format only month year and date or month it, it depends upon the that uh, company so here we have asked we have we have asked to display the date format in the ddmm 4y for uh, that means uh, the year should be in four digit format but normally in all databases the year will be stored in two digits format only i will show you now here we see the higher date it shows 28th september 81 and 9th december 82 that means date month and year in two digit format we need to change it to four digit format means how we are going to implement it this is very easy only we have to use this nls date format we cannot get the result just by executing the query it will it will display only two digits only i will show you now see here it displays the data in two digit format only but our requirement is we should display the data in four digit format that the year should be displayed in four digit format for that we have to use this alter session set nls date format to dd month and year in four digits why 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 if i do it along with this then it will be same see 
now the date will be displayed in four digits format. It says session altered, and after that, it displays the data in the four digit format. This is the way you have to display the data. Okay. We have seen three question and answers. The rest of the things, rest of the question and answer, we will see in the next video. Thanks. Bye.